Hello, my name is Trevor. I'm with Splashtop, and today I'll be talking about the Splashtop SOS integration with ServiceNow. With this integration, you will be able to use the Splashtop SOS platform to remote into your end user's computers from within a ServiceNow incident. So to get that, all you need to do is download the Splashtop SOS plugin for ServiceNow and then get your Splashtop SOS license and that's it, you'll be set up, you'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna show you now what, how to use this uh, integration. So on my left here, this is the technician computer. This is your computer. On the right here, this is the end user computer. So right now our end user is having a problem with Word. They can't figure out why all their text in their Word doc is highlighted yellow. So they have created an incident through their end of the ServiceNow platform. And on the technician side, we can see that incident. We're gonna open it up. And you can see now that we have the Splashtop SOS plugin, there's a tab here, Splashtop On Demand Support. And on the end user side, if they scroll down, they can see they have a section to Splashtop On Demand Support. So the first thing you need to do, the technician, you need to click this button, create an SOS download link. Once you click that, this download SOS button should highlight for the end user. You can see it's, it's uh, highlighted now, so we're gonna click it. What's happening now is a custom SOS application is being prepared for the end user computer. So that's gonna prepare and then it's gonna download onto that machine. And normally with Splashop SOS, when the end user downloads the SOS app, they're gonna get a nine digit session code, which will they, they will then give to you, the technician, to remote into their machine. With this SOS and ServiceNow integration, that's not necessary. Because you are creating a custom SOS app for them through within the ServiceNow incident, you're gonna be able to automatically connect to their machine as soon as they open that SOS app. So let's take a look at that here. The SOS app has been downloaded. Instruct your end user to open it up. Tell them yes, they can run it. And the SOS app is open now. So on the technician side, you'll see this connect button from within the ServiceNow platform. Click that. It's gonna open your Splashtop app. I'm already signed into my Splashtop SOS account. And right now it's remoting into the end user computer. And that's it. You can see I'm now remoted into the computer. So I'm taking control, I'm moving the mouse from the technician side I'm going to open their Word doc. You can see I can see what, what's on their screen and I can control it in real time. I see the issue. I'm just going to take care of that now. And that is it. The, the issue has been solved. So within, when you're remoting into a, uh, an end user's computer, you're going to have access to all of Splashtop's SOS's features. Uh, you can go to splashtop.com slash SOS to read more about those features, but you have the toolbar up here. You can view multiple monitors at once, switch between monitors, control alt delete, file transfer, a few other uh, useful features. But we're just gonna disconnect now. All right, so the session has been closed. I'm gonna click this button to close the support case. And you can click this button right here, update session logs. You can see this is a log of all the times I have remoted into the end user computer in this incident. So this right here at the top is the most recent one, the one we just did. All right, so that is everything you need to know about the ServiceNow and Splashtop SOS integration. Again, with this integration, you can remote into your end users' computers from within the ServiceNow incident. To get started, you can contact Splashtop at sales at splashtop.com or call us at the number provided for more information. Uh, we thank you for watching this video and we hope you enjoyed it.